Thank you for joining us today. We're talking about strategic foresight and the council for it. It's a tool that originated in corporate management, but is also becoming increasingly important in politics. If you had to define strategic foresight in one sentence, what would you say? Strategic foresight is a process, a methodology of making sure that you're not surprised by surprises. You think through the issues, you think long term, you take the the efforts of uh, individuals or companies or, or in the case of countries, decide what's, what's driving them and then you look ahead at what they might do and look at options. That's what we need in politics, uh, options. We don't want to be found at the begin at, at a crisis and have no options. Okay, you're a strong supporter for the establishment of a council for strategic mm -hmm. foresight in Germany. How could such a council um, support the German policy making, especially with regards to security policy? Well, first of all, security is a very broad issue in this country and it's everywhere a broad issue. It deals with climate, it deals with pandemics, it deals with health security, food security, of course, geopolitical issues with China and Russia mm -hmm. and the transatlantic relationship. But what, <clears throat> what's really very important is that you inform the politics. It's not possible when you're doing crisis management to then begin to think about things. You have to think about them ahead of time. As an academic, I will tell you, it's, uh, strategic foresight is a little bit like homework. If you don't do your homework, you're not likely to pass the test. And so do you have in the idea of a, of a council in the Bundestag debating issues, not taking positions, not making policy, but debating the issues, informing politics and informing the public when you then have a question that comes up and there will always be one. We have lots of them. I'm, on the table now with right. Russia is a per, per, certainly a, uh, an issue today, yeah. but there are lots of other issues in the Middle East and, and what's going on in China and so on. If you have a basis from which you can make decisions and to be informed, then you're much better able to have a positive and successful policy at the government level. Interesting. Um, strategic foresight can help us plan for the long term and prepare for diverse future scenarios. Um, however, it's also a very abstract concept to a lot of people. Um, how do we ensure that the political short-term agenda is not being reprioritized over such a strategic foresight council that looks so far in the future? So what we have in, in Germany in particular, we have various think tanks from the DGAP to the SVP and others that do planning and do kinds of things, but they're already associated with policies mm -hmm. or within ministries. And so this idea of a council of experts is an independent process. It's independent from what you suggest, that we're not looking at what's going on and how to help the government make a decision. We're looking at the issues themselves and what, what possibilities, what options are out there for the uh, government at some point to deal with and to look at scenarios of what might happen. That's how this began. It began and <clears throat> with uh, Royal Dutch Shell trying to work for the Norwegians to determine whether they should develop their oil fields before the Russians develop their oil fields. To look through what is possible and to compare it with others. Look at the what we like to call the SWOT analysis of strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats to what's going on in in the discussions that are happening, not in the policy making itself. Policy making belongs to the government. But if you're better informed, you have a better chance. And by, by the way, if you're, I was in the government for 30 years and you do not want to have strategic foresight while you're trying to do crisis management. These mm -hmm. two things conflict. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't do strategic foresight where you do that. In my case, I suggest the Bundestag is the right place to implement it. Thank you so much for your insight. My pleasure.